So, you've got a great boat, but you're not completely happy with its performance. Before you consider repowering it, you might want to take a look at the propeller first. Fortunately, the company that has the largest selection of propellers has an excellent prop selection tool on their website, and that's where we started. To find the ideal propeller, you must first consider what kind of performance you want to achieve. Are you looking to improve your boat's acceleration, handling, top speed, or simply maximize all-around performance? Once you add your engine info, it really helps to provide your current prop spec and top speed. Our Pride Marine Group Chaparral already had a 14.7-inch stainless three-blade inertia with a 16 pitch, but we didn't know its top speed just yet. So we just provided the boat length and got 10 recommendations right off the bat. Since water testing 10 would take a while and the little shaft already had a stainless three blade, we opted to try a Revolution four blade and a high five. Since Steve already showed us the benefits of Mercury's Vessel View mobile system, we decided to use it to track the data when comparing propellers. So our inertia prop, our standard baseline prop, it's going about 42 miles an hour, but it's hitting the rev limiter at 5840. So if you were running the boat light with no one in it, it probably could use a little more prop. It comes out of the hole just fine. 42 miles an hour, we could probably go a little faster. Let's try another prop. So we've tried our three blade inertia prop, and now we're gonna try our revolution four blade. You do need a couple of tools. A flathead screwdriver will get the lock washer off, and a prop wrench or a 1 and 1 16 inch socket will undo the nut, and a wood block to prevent the prop from spinning. Last but not least, we brought along a torque wrench to nail the 55 pounds feet required to secure the nut. Simple as that. Let's go for a spin. It's amazing the different character each of these propellers has. Right now, we've got the Revolution 4 blade on, and the mid-range is definitely more bite than the three-blade propeller. I really do like how this prop turns. You can feel how much more holding power it has in the water, especially between three and 4,000 RPM. However, because it's a 17 pitch, it's a little bit slower out of the hole. Now, we did gain a little top speed, but only two miles an hour. With a good feeling for the differences between the three-blade and the four-blade props, I was itching to try out the high five. I just love how this prop comes out of the hole. It just instantly has throttle response right from the bottom. The High Five also has so much grip, it turns really well. And it's a little less sensitive to trim. This High Five is only 13 and a half inches in diameter and feels much smoother at low RPM than the big Revolution, especially around the dock. But a 17 pitch still allows to hit 42 on the limiter. I gotta admit, I think the High Five is my favorite propeller here today. It has by far the best acceleration on the whole, fantastic mid-range, decent top speed. But we did lose one to two miles an hour over the three-blade and almost four miles an hour over the four-blade propeller. So what did we learn after a day of wrenching and burning fuel? One, the best prop for your boat really depends on how you use it. Two, it never hurts to chat with your local dealer, especially if they sold the boat originally. And three, Mercury has more propeller options than anyone else, and a very handy prop selection tool to help narrow down your choices. If you're even thinking about changing props, that's where I'd start.